Northwest Schools teacher, Marnie Hayde, and Executive Director of Compassionate Ministries, Terry Williams. Nice Hi, to see you. Hi, Marnie. Hi, Terry. Hey, Bart. Uh, Terry in uh, the Mount Mountie Northwest Territories, a neighbor of Northwest Schools, and a partner in this venture we're talking about Friday. Absolutely. We actually are blessed to partner together on a variety of things, yeah. and this is the first of the school year this year. <laughs> All right, so what's happening? I understand it's a, uh, it's a football game you're teaming up on. Yes, so this is our seventh annual Hunger Bowl, uh, and, and that includes collections even in the pandemic. So Northwest plays Western in varsity football on Friday night at 7 o'clock at Mountie Stadium. Uh, so cheer, marching band, the works. Um, we collect non-perishable foods and toiletries in both of the schools, and we compete against each other to see who can collect the most to beat hunger. And so everybody wins, right? When you can beat hunger, that's for sure. We actually count every item and we count dollars as a, in essence, one point as well. Mm -hmm. And all the money and items are all donated from Northwest to Compassionate Ministries, which of course, as you mentioned, is right down the road from the schools. Right. So, Is there an independent auditor to make sure that the uh, count is accurate? <laughs> we do take pictures, if okay. that's yeah. helpful. <laughs> we right. do we, take we pictures. Do. We deliver from all the different buildings in the school district. Up until 10 o'clock at night, right? Yes, and then on Friday night, we deliver after the football game. We meet Terry at the, at the barn, on, on the Blessings Barn, and we, you know, take our deliveries there. And so um, we do take pictures, so hopefully okay. people trust us. <laughs> Terry, uh, how important is this Hunger Bowl to Compassionate Ministries? Oh, oh gosh, the, uh, the Hunger Bowl is just, it's, it's, one, it's a fantastic relationship that we have with Marnie and, and the Northwest community. Um, not only the staff and the administration, but just the people, the people in the community. Um, right now, we, are, um, we provide food to about 17 food pantries throughout the county. Um, and so, um, the past couple of years, We've um, distributed over a million pounds of food. Oh my. Um, so not only with our food pantries, but our after school backpack program as well, um, where this year we'll be providing about 700 backpacks every Friday for, for local kids who um, need some help with, with the food insecurities that are taking place right now. They, they're still there. And so the relationship that we have with Northwest, um, you know, it's just, it's just really cool to be able to work closely with them. Uh, we, we look forward to it. Um, we have a person who loves to sort through all the canned goods when they come in. Um, an elder, elderly lady, she just loves to sit there and she date checks everything. And so it's just a really, re really great uh, community time together. And we're so appreciative of, of Marnie and her work and, like I said, the Northwest community. Well, that surprised me. I did not know that uh, you provided food to 17 uh, food pantries. And I think a lot of the work that you do, it's, it's uh, behind the scenes and under the radar. It is. And that's the way we like it. <laughs> <laughs> you think about that we talk to our kids at Northwest, um, what they donate is going back to their peers. Mm -hmm. I mean, of those bags that go home on Fridays, hundreds of them go home with Northwest kids mm -hmm. in our and district. And I think we've, out of the, I don't know how many schools, are there five in Northwest? Yeah. So we've got four of the schools that we're providing food to in, just in the Northwest School District, so. The kids get it. Well, that's the hope. Yeah. And, and, and events like this really allow kids the opportunity to help because a lot of times the Compassionate Ministry sorts during the school day. Right. Or they, you know, but this is another way and another step kids can get involved mm -hmm. and help in the community. Right. Well, you traditionally don't have any problem filling the stands at Mountie Stadium. I would imagine this will be an uh, overflow crowd night. Well, anytime we play a crosstown rival, <laughs> always going to be an overflow night. Of course, we've got our best band in the land, fabulous marching Mounties. We've got, you know, a fantabulous football and cheer program. And so, and, and you're doing something great for the community. We'll have a Northwest and a Western tent set up next to each other near the main entrance. Hmm. Um, and we park some vehicles next to it to load the vehicles as we fill boxes. So, and we have kids who go out with jugs and collect dollars and all that good stuff. And so, um, you know, look for the kids in the stands, Northwest and Western kids in the stands too. So, yeah, they're working hard over there too. They will, through halftime. And then we announce at the end of halftime who the quote unquote 
winner of the Hunger Bowl is, although once again, everyone's a winner. Everyone right? wins, everyone's a winner. but you know, it's a point of pride that Northwest hasn't lost the Hunger Bowl yet. That is a point of pride for us as well. So, so you all six previous Hunger Bowls you've won. Yes, and some have been very close. And so I'm not as close. And I will tell you, the game has always been the tipping point. Mm -hmm. What we accumulate in the game has always been the tipping point. And mm -hmm. wherever the game is, that's the host. So we were at Western last year. Yeah. We're at Northwest this year. So absolutely. Now, if people can't make the game, they can bring food into any of the school buildings in either district. Yes, yes. Um, through the end of the school day on Friday. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you prefer they would come to a Northwest building. Oh, well, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, we can find a way to come to you. And if I'm, a you've Western, got a whole I'm a Western grad, but yes. I'm, I'm like rooting for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, once again, everybody wins when you can beat hunger. And, and as Terry mentioned, there's a lot of, you know, instability right now. And, and so they're a lifeline for lots of families in the Northwest community and the Jackson community. Right. Well, earlier in the show, we had a chance to ask uh, one of the students and the new first-year coach at Jackson uh, how how the new how the newness of a coach is is uh, infiltrating the uh, the school atmosphere. How about at Northwest with uh, first-year coach uh, Newsom? Well. I Yes, Mr. Newsom is a first year on the sidelines head varsity coach, but he's coached in the district for years. He's been a teacher in the district for years. He's a face and a heart that the kids know, mm -hmm. you know, and that's a huge deal. It, there wasn't a learning curve to get to know him or know his expectations. And um, I'm privy with my camera to be on the <laughs> sidelines. And it's just, it's wonderful to hear him teach and just love up those kids on the mm -hmm. sidelines. Like, yeah. It's wonderful. There's expectations, but there is a heck of a lot of love and engagement at the same time. That's awesome. It looks like uh, he's got uh, some great athletes. They are having some success already Absolutely. early in the season. Absolutely. Good numbers, good numbers in so many of our sports. You know, when it, it's a good problem, do you? That, you know, when you have more kids, then you know sure. you can play. That's a good problem that yeah. kids want to engage in that way. Well, Terry, it's Compassionate Ministries, and uh, food insecurity is just one of the things that your organization addresses. Give yes. us a little bit of a uh, uh, rundown of some of the things you guys are uh, up to this fall. So in addition to our food ministries, we also have our special needs program called David's Promise. Uh, we just started a new session at David's Promise, so that we now have three sessions and our, our ministry for special needs adults. Um, once they graduate school, on up to whatever. We've had uh, folks as old as 65 be part of our program. And so we're super, super excited about adding a new session. Uh, we work with Jackson School of the Arts. We work with Harmony Gardens Music Therapy Services who bring in um, some of their expertise um, to provide for our participants. And so um, we have about 50 participants right now in our, for our three sessions. And so we're, we're really excited. We just started that new session this week. And so really excited about that. One of the neat, really neat things about, uh, as we talk about food insecurity and the backpack program is our adults with special needs also help out with that program as they're there um, packing and assembling these bags that are going out to the kids. And they've really taken ownership of that. It's one of their favorite activities that they do throughout the week. And so that's just one, one of the many things that David's Promise does, so. It's awesome. Well, Betsy, Betsy yes. loves the music therapy uh, from Harmony Garden as part of David's Promise. So keep up the great work. Thank you. And hi, Betsy. <laughs> Besides food, uh, personal care items are welcome too. Absolutely, uh, absolutely, toiletries as well. Um, and one of the things that we're able to do um, in many of the schools in the county, I don't know if people know this, at the upper levels in particular, we have community closets. Yes that have toiletries and have clothing and also have food in them. Mm -hmm. And so this is a great stopping point if we're short on something in those community closets in our buildings as well, that we can add that. I mean, you know, it's high school, we need deodorant, right. yeah. you know, and <laughs> you know, you know, a little bit of everything. So um, it, everything helps, absolutely everything helps. So. Great, well, it's, it's neat to see uh, how involved the, the school is with the, the community. And I know you're a big part of that, Marnie. You're, you're a big driver of that. Thanks mm -hmm. so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Well, good luck. Good Thanks. luck to Thank both, uh, both districts as they uh, compete to raise the most food and, uh, and supplies for the, uh, the food banks. Awesome.
Thanks, Bart. Thank, Thank you, Bart. Yeah. Good to see you both. You as well. Seventh Annual Hunger Bowl from Northwest Schools, Marnie Hayde, and from Compassionate Ministries, Terry Williams. Uh, we've got a lot